Hold on. <laughs> Happy Nonsensical <laughs> Sunday. Happy Nonsensical Sunday. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I cleaned my room today, and it was fun. I ate some chocolate. <laughs> I ate chocolate, too. Well, yeah, but mine took more work, because it was Ferrero Rocher. I have three musketeers. <laughs> my nose is running. Go catch it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I sneeze. That is the ugliest <sighs> sneezing face I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I watched The Roommate today. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I did today. And it, she freaking kills a kitten. That is a no. Who does that? Who does that? I know. Oh my God. And then Emily took a picture of me yesterday. And I, one of my eyes was going in a different direction. And it really made me sad. Because my friend Danny, he's always like, ever since I told him, he was like, Look at me, because he wanted to see my eyes go in different directions. I'm like, no, no. I didn't really say that, but I didn't think it was that noticeable. And then you take a picture of me. Oh my god. You know, I think of this light. We look even redder than we are. We got a little bit sunburned yesterday. Yeah. And then, oh, you can't really. Oh, well, you can't. Yeah, you kinda. can't see it. But I broke out in red bumps and stuff, so I think I might be allergic to grass. So that's great. I don't want to get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to <Prom>. lift? <laughs> we go to. We need a prom. <laughs> Man. But yeah, we went to the Word Ash yesterday because our Aunt Jan and Jamie yeah, and our cousins funny. Bailey and Cole were in it and it was pretty legit. Although there was one um, not so fun part of that um, whole adventure and I can sum it up in two words banana hammock. I can sum it up in more than one. Did you say one or two words? <laughs> I said two. I needed... No banana hammock. Oh, okay. Two words. I can sum it up in more than two words. Older guy, strut, banana hammock, feathers on head. That is more of any man that I don't know that I don't, I, 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 I don't want to see it. I don't want to see uh, it. I, I, I don't want to see it. It was gross. I don't want to see that. What are you doing? <laughs> We were watching the soup, and apparently on the Long Island Princesses or whatever, Princesses of whatever, that, show that Bravo, Bravo show, there is this girl who cannot finish her sentence, so she's like, I broke a nail. <laughs> so we were imitating her, and it somehow ended up in me in, in a demonic voice, and then Emily just, and... We were just wondering why we have boyfriends. Yeah, we, we do all this stuff and we're thinking, wow, there's actually a guy out there that, like, a guy for each of us that finds us hot. And that's kind of yeah. hard to believe sometimes because of is. how we act. It really is. Because like, it's a, it's a freaking miracle. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes <laughs> I catch myself doing something, like, saying something, I'm just like, who, why do people associate themselves with me? <laughs> right? Me too. I mean, I get my family, they kind of have to, because they live in Our me, poor but... parents. Yeah. Like, I'm serious, I, I bet they'll lose their hearing in the next five years, because we're so loud. Oh my god, boy. Oh, my nose. So, I had a dream. Okay, can I tell them my dream? So I was five months pregnant, and I went to, let's see, I had a friend that went, oh, so I had a friend who was on Titanic, but it was like modern day, so instead of Jack, there was a guy named Bend. Bend? So, yeah, I went to this really ghetto <laughs> school, and you know, I'm like pasty white and dorky, and I was five months pregnant, but I wasn't least. really pregnant. I was filled up with cotton balls, but I had, a, like, somehow, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm pregnant, blah, blah, blah. So I saw my friend Anna Mullen, and, you know, we're talking and stuff. Then there were these guys shooting at our school. So the princess was like, yo, we got a lockdown. <laughs> so I ran, and there was a corn maze right near the school, so we were running. And um, Anna and I, and Anna and I <laughs> went to this underground tunnel, <laughs> and there was a boat, and there was a boat man. The boat man. <laughs> and Glad you cleared that up the second time around. <laughs> he was one of the killers. And 
So he took us, and apparently they were like a cult or something. They're like, please don't kill me. You know, I have a baby. You know, it's like, God, involved. I don't know how that works. And they're like, okay, the only way we won't kill you is if you work with us. And so I looked at Anna, and we were like, oh, my God, what do we do? So we said yes anyway, and then I woke up. At, at least you didn't dream about so escaping cool. a mental health facility to take back a couple t-shirts and snort cocaine with your sister in an alley. Because that was my dream a couple nights ago. I don't know where that came from. But if I told you that wasn't a dream? What if I told you, whoa. <laughs> it's quiet as That is why I have a knife under my pillow. Oh, boy. But you don't know, I have like three pillows, and nobody knows which one, because this is a secret. Can we just not start this coming week? Because I'm going to be so busy, I have to get my oil changed, I have to probably go to the dentist, I have a haircut, I have so many things to do, it's ridiculous. i got to go to work, like, forever, all the time. i got to sleep in. Oh, please, you have, you had like a year, you graduated, and then you had like a year to not wake up at six so uh, i do what i do i do what i do what i do what i do you've had enough summers this is my last summer hopefully because hopefully next year i'll be employed hopefully well i'd rather have to look i know this sounds silly because i Itchy. you know but I want a job okay. next summer just because I want to be paying my way and living on my own and all that other adult crap. But I don't, don't itch yourself on me, you creep. Sorry. I have like a really itchy spot. Oh, did I don't know? think I'm allergic, though. I think you're allergic. Shoot. I can hear a fall. I can't get over that movie, yours. that roommate movie. God, it creeps me out so much. I'm so excited for college. You know what? I woke up today really missing Western and Bellingham because I'm just going to lay this out there. Western is the best college in the world. I love Western. I love Bellingham. I you talk know, about it all the time. I don't want to go back. In fact, if I go, like, I just, I just, I want to live there sometimes. If I become a psychologist, I'm going to be dealing with a lot of people who have, maybe I'll be dealing with the kind of girl who is on a roommate. Sorry, I was yawning. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I know. I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying either. <laughs> you know who you remind me of? The girl on roommate. Because I, I am I the girl on roommate. Uh, yeah. Well, are we, are we going to have barbecue chicken again tonight? I don't know, but there's a steak in the fridge, and I'm kind of tempted to eat Dad it. might have eat, already eaten it for lunch. Ah, it's okay. Cause seriously, that's like our Sunday night dinner every Sunday night. It's barbecue chicken and baked beans and some form of vegetable. I'm and instant s salad. If I have to eat more suddenly salad, or suddenly I'm, salad, I'm gonna go out and kill somebody because I'm so sick of that stuff. Suddenly salad, no. But I love you, and, and that may be all, all I need. I need a girl's car for scare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's from a song. I love Ludacris because Porn he's just so dancing. man. That's yeah. the song. By my darkest days. By Ludacris, my darkest days. I don't know. Somehow he rocks. You're so thoughtful. For scare. You're cool. So for scare. You realize it is only like, let's see. It's less than a month until the script slash Gavin DeGraw slash the train concert. Gavin Gavin DeGraw. He's one of the opening. Oh, I thought you said last name. I'm like, nah. And then we have... Like two and a half months until Bon Jovi. <laughs> I love Bon Jovi. <laughs> oh boy. I probably will like. I can't even describe to you how much I love them. It's kind of on the verge of the creepy do side. Do you love Bon Jovi as much as you love Stone Ground Mustard? More, man. The passion's more. By the way, I, I should warn you, expect a video from Molly it. just about Stone Ground Mustard. Yeah, I'm And I'm, I'm warning you, not already. like saying, hey, this is going to be great. I'm warning you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys. Can you do a smiley face? 
<laughs> now you have a tattoo. You should have just connected the dots up for my red now dot. Now you have a tattoo. It's a smiley face. Oh, I just flexed that my muscles. That evil. Well, it just looks like a really hairy guy with a unibrow. I'm creative. Hey. We're going to go now because I'm tired of this. <laughs> Bye-bye.